Hey guys, my name is Gabe and I'm from drumbeatsonline.com. Welcome to today's lesson. I'm going to teach you how to play three easy beginner drum beats. This is for the students who are just picking up drumsticks or you just bought a drum set and you're like, I really want to learn how to play some cool drum beats. I might know one or two, but I want to learn how to make my drum beats sound a little bit different and just add some more into my drum library. So for all you beginner drummers, this lesson is for you. So let's jump right in to our first drum beat. The first drum beat, we are going to be playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. And what that means is we're going to be playing the hi-hat eight times in the length of one measure. So the way that I would count that is like this. One and two and three and four and. So that's all the hi-hat is doing, just hitting it eight times. So what you're going to do with the snare is you're going to hit it on beats two and four. And you're going to find that that's very common in uh, a lot of drum beats is the snare falls on the two and the four uh, very often. So together with the hi-hat and the snare, that would sound like this. So next we're going to add the kick drum. The kick drum is going to go in four places. It's going to go on beat one, the and of beat one, beat three, and the and of beat three. So with the bass drum and the hi-hat, that would sound like this. So once you feel comfortable with that, we're going to throw in the hi-hat, the snare, and the kick drum all together at the same time. So that would sound like this. So you're going to find that this is a very common beat that's used in a lot of pop music and in a lot of rock music. Uh, you're going to find it all over the place. So this is a really great beat to have in your arsenal of drum beats. And if you're having a hard time with it, um, slow the beat down and just take it slow. You don't always have to start off really fast right away. Sometimes it's really good to play the beat really slow and get comfortable with it. And don't let your ego try to make you think that you have to play it really fast. And if you are even having a hard time with that, maybe start removing elements. Uh, if the bass drum is tripping you up, maybe just play the beat with the hi-hat and the snare, get comfortable with that, and then add in the bass drum later. And the same thing with the snare. Maybe if the snare is giving you a hard time, just play it with the hi-hat and the kick drum, and then add the snare when you get comfortable. So let's move on to the next drum beat. So this next drum beat is really, really, really similar to the first one. There's only one note difference, and we're actually taking away a bass drum note. And we're taking away uh, the kick drum on beat three. So everything else is actually the exact same as the beat we just learned. The only difference is it might be a little bit tricky for you as far as the coordination goes. This beat um, tends to mess with people um, where the kick drum is only on the and of beat three some people want to play their hands with it too so it might be a little bit tricky for you um, but it might not be because you just learned a very similar beat so that's what I was kind of hoping to do is uh, ease you into this beat so the way that the kick drum sounds with the hi-hat is now like this
So the bass drum is now on beats one, the and of one, and the and of three. So if we combine all of the drums together, it would sound like this. So that's another great beat that can be played in a lot of different types of music. So now, let's move on to our third beat. So for this next beat, um, we're playing eighth notes on the hi-hat again, which is good. That's familiar to us. But there is a change on the snare drum. The snare drum is still on the two and four, but we add an extra note. The extra note is on the and of two. So we're playing three notes on the snare total. I'll play you uh, what it sounds like with the hi-hat and the snare drum together. So again, the snare is on beats two, the and of two, and beat four. Once you feel comfortable playing the hi-hat and the snare together, we're going to add in the kick drum. The kick drum goes on beat one and the and of three. So it's a little bit of a similar kick drum pattern to the beat we learned before, but we're actually subtracting a bass note out. Um, instead of doing it on the one and the and of one, we're only doing it on the one and the and of three. So with the kick drum and the hi-hat together, it would sound like this. So once you feel really good about that, you can add all the elements together. And that, all together, would sound like this. So that is the last beat of the three easy beginner beats that you need to know. Um, something I would highly recommend for you is um, to experiment with these beats around the drum kit. I taught them all to you on the hi-hat, but there's so many options for them. You can play the beats on the ride, on the crash cymbal, open hi-hat, floor tom, rack tom, whatever you want. I really would like for you guys to experiment with these beats and kind of make them your own. Um, the really cool thing about drumming is that you can take one beat and just start moving your hands around the kit and they can sound like a lot of different beats, um, but you're really just playing the same thing in different places. So it's a really great way to recycle your old beats. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this lesson. I really hope that you learned a lot and that you can put some cool new beats into your arsenal now. Uh, for more drum lessons, make sure you go to drumbeatsonline.com. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you later.